It's the breakfast and plus TV Africa and straight to our next conversation where we look at Manchester United signing a new manager. Monday Thomas, you join us this morning. It's good to have you on the show and uh, he's a sports journalist. Good morning. Once again, it's great to be here. I'm always excited when it's weekend, when we are going to see some top flight football, Manchester United. Tomorrow against Arsenal, but the biggest the biggest news is Eric Ten Hag joining them on a three year contract with an option to extend to the fourth year. I can't, can't wait to get on with it. Okay, so um, it, it's more like a coincidence that we're talking about uh, Manchester United signing a new manager, uh, Eric Ten, mm -hmm. at the time where today in history uh, David Moyers was also sacked and he got replaced. And so, what's the future of the club? We saw the last game with Liverpool, and we could actually, uh, you know, hear the coach saying uh, they don't have better players. Uh, you see that the reason for all of that is that uh, they don't have good players. Uh, to match up the energy of Liverpool. Uh, so having this new manager now, uh, what, what do you think would become of the club? Do you see them making uh, you know, progress and becoming a better team? All right. Manchester United fans all over the world are still... Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Go ahead. Can I go ahead? All right. So Manchester United fans all over the world are still back in absolute euphoria. Uh, because of the new the signing of the new manager. And it's quite understandable because with Eric Ten Hag, what are you to expect from Manchester United? I, I guarantee you it's going to be free-flowing football. It's going to be purpose-driven football. It's going to be attractive. And it's going to be, of course, uh, capping it off with trophies. As well. Of course, uh, tell Manchester United fans not to expect things so soon. You talked about the players not being good enough for other coaches to execute their plans. Eric Ten Hag do not have too many good players in Ajax Amsterdam. He just needed to build a foundation. He just needed to build a foundation. It's quite unfortunate in Manchester United, they don't have a foundation. Alex Ferguson did not lay a very good foundation, although things were working for him. When I'm talking about foundation, I'm talking about a style of play for a particular club. It's quite a shame Manchester United, as great as they are, they do not have it. In Ajax Amsterdam, before Eric Ten Hag, there was a Johan Cruyff. Johan Cruyff brought a different level of football, same foundation in Barcelona. And if, if I take you back in time, uh, Eric Ten Hag was a Pep Guardiola in Bayern Munich. So this man on the Cruyff kind of football, and that's why it's working at Ajax Amsterdam, it's working at all level. But you have to also miss the Redivis. That is a the Redivis in the Dutchland. It is not the English Premier League. The English Premier League is a very feisty place, very competitive, and you get to see quality football at its peak. So I'm going to tell Manchester United to expect free-flowing football, attacking purpose-driven, was capping up with trophies so soon. The three-year contract is not enough. Manchester United fans should not expect anything in the next season, in the, the upper season, even in the third season where his contract is supposed to expire. Maybe they should start expecting the fourth season because it's not going to be so easy for Eric Ten Hag to instill the philosophy, his own philosophy right there for Manchester. Because they have been quote name players, Paul Pogba, big name player. I mean, Paul Pogba, if we go to 2017, it wasn't real. Jose Mourinho was fired. Cristiano Ronaldo, big name players, Harry Maguire. So they, the, the, the club sometimes are, have conflict. Who should they support in time of crisis? Should they go with the coach or should they go with the players? So it's going to take time for Eric Ten Hag to instill the philo uh, philosophy of his own style of play, or of his own style of play for Manchester United to be able to do great exploits as they are expecting from the new manager. It's going to be great football for them, but they need to be all right. All right, Monday. Um, a lot of people have um, sort of um, been setting um, an agenda for the new uh, Hemsman at Manchester United, specifically uh, Liverpool legend Jamie Carragher has asked him to sign or to sack her two or three, uh, you know, you know, team members who are actually causing trouble for the for that particular club. How do you react to that? I think it's spot on because people are already leaving. I think some uh, days ago, the two chief scouts of Manchester United said goodbyes. I mean, I think things are, are beginning to unfold because of the recruitment policy, the recruitment skills. It's, it's not really up to par because how can you sign a player 80 million pounds? I'm not saying Harry Maguire is such a very bad player, but it's not that 
big of a player to play for Manchester United. In quote, big club, a cultured club that way, of course, known for their trophy winning uh, exploits. But now you, they get just get to sign players because of the name they make, because of the maybe a one season city, and that's why they got signed. So I, I'll go with the big names, Jamie Gargan, and Gary Neville, who are always criticizing Manchester United and also talking about uh, Roy, Roy Keane. A, a big a big player for Manchester United way uh, way back is also criticizing. I think a lot of things needs to be done. The board of trustees of Manchester United need to give Eric Ten Hag the complete empowerment to make decisions. Because mm -hmm. if you go back in that particular administration, the coaches do not have complete authority. Mm. So, but also, um, just like you have mentioned, with the style of play that Eric Ten might just come with, uh, you know, he would require a lot of intensity and discipline. And some persons have said that some players will not actually um, offer that to him. And so that might also be a problem. The likes of Pogba and uh, you also have Rashford not having all of that amongst others. W what do you think of this? That's what I'm saying. That's what I said. The big players, the big players are going to be a problem to Eric Ten Hag. But if they can just listen, if they can just try to give him the benefit of the doubt because of how great he was in Ajax Amsterdam. 210 games for Ajax since 2017, 156 wins. That's almost 70%. So this man, with, it, with, with his antecedent, he is capable of doing magic at the of dreams. So they just need to Listen to him. He's a young manager, but he can do wonders. Mm. That's all, all right. right. Well, that's so much we can take at this point in time. We do appreciate you, uh, Thomas, uh, Monday, Thomas, for being part of the show. All right. Thank you so much for having me again on this platform. It's always a pleasure. All right, Monday Thomas is a sports journalist, and we have been talking about uh, the signing of Eric Ten as the new manager for Manchester United. Let's see how the club fares, and that's the size of our conversation this morning. If you missed out on any part of it, it's all right to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and do subscribe to our YouTube channel with Plus TV Africa, Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. Many thanks for watching. I am Messi Popo. Have a fantastic Friday. And I'm Justin Akadonia. We'll see you again on Monday, top of the hour, 7 a.m. Bye for now.